What's most important in making creativity work is uh, a space. Um, Peter Brook calls it an empty space, a virgin space. Now that space can be physical, but that space can also be the space in your mind, the space inside you. And so creating an empty virgin place allows something to come forward into it. Prisons are crowded, overcrowded oft times. Most prisons are, uh, I think, if you did an examination, you'd find they they're have housed much more, many more prisoners than uh, they were built for. So space is something that just continues to, to decrease. Um, and we all know the experiment of where they put too many rats into one cage, and what do they do? They, they, they turn to violence, because there is a tipping point. Um, so I think it's more than just the physical space. It's creating the space inside you. So the metaphor is, is that how do you create the space inside you for something new and, and, and different and beautiful, I hope, to come forward? I think creativity can be uh, uh, explored in, really in any space. I think that, uh, particularly if you're talking about creativity when it's related to arts, um, writing is a very solitary uh, practice. Oft time creating visual images is a solitary practice. But then there's dance and there's theater, which are really uh, cooperatives, communication, connecting with each other, following directions and doing all of those things. Um, so I, I, I say that if you don't have the resources, uh, if you don't have the space, then you create a program that can be done in a solitary way. But ideally you want, even an, a writer wants to be able to share his or her words. Um, even a painter or a sculptor wants to be able to show his or her creation. So space is needed for that.